Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap Hover Effects video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we created this image to text on Hover Effect right here. Today we're going to do something very similar but we're going to have a drop down. So if I move over here when we hover over these image you're going to see your text drop down from the top there. That's a nice little feature to have on your site, really easy to do. Now rather than starting from scratch, what we're going to do, we'll start from this position where we left, on in, left off in the last video. And if you want to follow along, I've got a zip file of the project files. Down below the video you can download them. And it'll be a zip file, so just extract it. You'll have the images and the index.html, just double click on that and it'll open in your browser of choice. And you'll be starting at the same place as we are here. It's just going to save a bit on, of time on recoding these columns with the images behind them. But if you want to do that, have a look at the first video. It'll explain how to do it in that video. I'll put that link below the video also for anybody that wants to watch that. So let's get started. OK, so I've got this file open here. I'll close the others for convenience. And if we go to the text editor, anybody needs a text editor, this one's called Brackets. It's absolutely free. And you can find the link below the video also. Here's the CSS we wrote last time for our columns. I'm going to leave that as is for the moment. We might change it in a second. Here's the image to text CSS we wrote to get that image of text going in. We gave it a class of hov text. I'm going to get rid of that and create a new cl class called drop text or DRP text. And I'm going to replace that. Call yours what you will, but it's got to make sense to you. I'm going to call mine drop text and it's got to be unique, obviously. I'm just going to replace the class names that we had in our little divs here with that DRP text. OK, if I save this now, that's going to take away all the CSS that we've got under hov text here. So let's start a new one. We'll give it a heading and we'll call image to drop down text. So forward slash star star forward slash anything written between won't be writ read as code. OK, and we'll give it that class name. All class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them. So it's dot and then the class name. Then we can open and close some curly brackets to write the CSS. So if I say this now, it's going to change the look of that template. This one here, it's going to go from this when I refresh it to this because we've got no height in there and we've got different amounts of writing and there's no hover effect going on the writings just there. So we've got to think about what we want to do with this. OK, we want to kind of scoot these up. Then we, when we hover over them, we want to scoot them back down again. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back and write some CSS. So I'm going to take it up by 300 pixels with some negative margins. So I'm going to say margin top, colon, negative 300 pixels. And that should take it up to the top there. But I'm also going to add some padding to the bottom of it so that we've got something to hover on when it's out of the way. So I'm going to say padding bottom. And I'm going to give it a lot more than it needs just so we're covered. So I'm going to say padding bottom. I'm going to say 600 pixels. And this initially will make it look sort of long and skinny. Let's say that. Control S, go back. Now when I refresh, as you can see, these have popped up here now not looking long and skinny because we've got some padding applied to these so I've got to overwrite that padding on the bottom so I've got to add the important I don't like to use important but we have to in this particular case so it's exclamation mark important now let's save that and we'll go back refresh there we go we've got our huge amount of padding on the bottom now when we hover over we want this to scoot down by 300 so it's right here so let's do that let's create a hover state 
So I'm going to copy this. We'll do almost like we did last time. Control C to copy. Control V to paste it underneath. Right after the TXT right there, no gap. I'm going to put a colon and the word hover to create a hover state. That means when the mouse goes on it, this CS is going to ha CSS is going to happen. So I want zero there for zero picks. But I can leave the padding out altogether. I can take that away altogether because what I've got planned for it in a moment is to have the overflow hidden so you won't see that anyway. So let's just save that. Control S. Refresh. Okay, so we've got nothing going on there. And then when we hover over it, yeah, it's jumping down. As you can see, this bit's jumping down. So it's sort of doing what we want it to do here. But of course, we don't want all that overspill on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this column, each of these columns, a fixed height of 300. And I'm going to say overflow hidden. So anything that's above or below the 300 will not be there. So let's do that. So we've got to go back up into our columns, column one, column two, column three. And if we look down here, we've got column three, column two, and column one. So that's what we're affecting with this bit of CSS. So I'm going to give it a height of 300 pixels. And I also want to tell it to say overflow, anything that's overflowing that to be hidden. And let's save that. We just got the first one done here. So let's save that, refresh. Okay, so we've got a column there. There's no writing in it. When I hover over it, the writing's suddenly appearing there, but it's actually appearing from down up the top there just doing so quickly so let's do that for the rest of our columns here just going to simply copy this and add it to our other columns here now the reason we can't do column one two three and do the same thing is because they've got different background images in there so we have to keep them a little separate with this okay so let's save that we've got that in all three now let's refresh there we go but it's almost like you can't tell that it's popping down because it's happening instantly so let's slow it all down what I'll do is go down and we'll use what we did before which was transition duration and we've got to put this in the regular state not the hover state it's prompted us and I think I'll use 1.2 seconds put in whatever you want 0.5 seconds 1.6 seconds whatever and I'm also going to use the transition timing function ease in and ease out because I'd like to use that for this so again it's prompted us the brackets I'm going to use ease in and ease out semicolon now let's take a look. Now that we've slowed it, slowed it down, we should be able to see a lot easier what's going on. So let's save this, Control S, go back, refresh. Now that we've slowed it down, you can see it's popping in from the top there. And that's working pretty well. The only thing is, I, th I feel that that text is getting a little lost in the busy picture behind. I can't read it particularly well. So we can add a little overlay on the hover. Really easy. If we go back on the hover this time, not on the regular. I'm going to say background. I'm going to use black, which is hashtag 000, like we did last time. If I just leave it like that, it'll be just be plain black and we won't be able to see any image. Control S and we'll go back, refresh. As you can see, it's turned completely back, but you can read that writing really well. But I'd kind of like to see some of the image through it like we did on the previous one. So we'll do the same thing. 
With CSS3, if it's all the same, six zeros, you only have to put three in. So to do this, we need to add the other three zeros to make it full black. And then we can add two digits on the end from 00, zero to 99, and that's opacity or transparency. So I'm going to put 80, so it'll be 80% visible, which should still give us enough room to see the image behind it. So control S. There we go, it's darkened it down. We can still see the picture behind there. But our writing's a lot more legible. Might take that speed just up a little bit. Let's go back and take the speed up just slightly. Let's make it say 0.8 seconds. Obviously this is entirely up to you. This CSS will be down below the video and the whole project files I'll zip up and you're welcome to download them and use them how you wish. Right, let's save this. Let's go back and we should be good to go. Refresh. There we go. I like it just coming down a little bit faster like that. So there you go, guys. There's an image to drop down text with overlay. Really easy to do, a little bit of CSS. But that's a nice thing to have on your site. So like I say, I'll zip this up. You can download the project files to play with and just the regular CSS will be down below the video. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.